Kalabs? Hello mga karamzat! Kamusta po kayong lahat? Binabati ko po kayo ng maligayang araw at naway na sa mabuti kayong kalagayan at walang karamdaman. And uh, in this well, in this video, we will witness um, again the the most beautiful phenomenon sa ating mundo ang solar eclipse ating aalamin kung paano nga ba magkatagpo ang buwan at araw so guys without further ado samahan nyo ako at sabay sabay nating panuorin sa video ito ang solar eclipse An annular solar eclipse will occur today, June 10, 2021, when the moon passed between Earth and the Sun, thereby absorbing the image of Sun viewers on Earth. The ring will shine with only one-tenth of the Sun's normal to light. The first solar eclipse of the year will take place today, June 10. This solar eclipse will be an annular one. Or often referred to as the ring of fire eclipses. During the event, the moon is so far away from Earth. That it appears smaller than the sun in the sky. Those moon does not block the entire view of the sun. resulting in a dark desk on the top of a larger bright desk. This creates that looks like a ring of fire around the moon. This year, an annular eclipse will start at sunrise over the Ontario, Canada. And will end up over northeast Siberia during the sunset. The ring of fire will only last for 3 minutes and 51 seconds. Annular eclipse will be visible from parts of northeastern Canada. Greenland, the Arctic Ocean, and the Russian Far East. While North America, the North Atlantic parts of Europe, Asia, and the Arctic. Will witness a partial solar eclipse. However, it is never safe to look directly at the sun's rays. Even if the sun is partially and fully obscured. Always wear solar viewing or eclipse glasses to witness this solar eclipse. The moon will reach in the farthest point from the earth and will appear slightly smaller. The moon will pass in front of the sun creating an angular solar eclipse from 8. 
the ring of fire or the annular eclipse will be visible from Canada, Greenland, and Russia. And partial eclipse will be seen from US, UK, China, Norway, Iceland, Finland, and Sweden. A detailed map of the eclipses is shown in the next slide. The annular phase will last for a maximum of 3 minutes and 51 seconds at the time of greatest eclipse. This will be the first of the two solar eclipses in 2021. The second one is on December 4. Do not try to look at the eclipse with naked eye. You may end the damaging them permanently. Jupiter will halt its usual eastward movement through the constellation and turn west. Planets enter retrograde motion because of the Earth motion around the Sun. Jupiter rises around midnight and it is high up in the eastern sky at dawn. The sun rays will shine directly over the Tropic of Cancer on the day of the summer. Solstice. This marks the first day of summers in the north and winters in the south. For people in the north, it's the longest day and the shortest night of the year. Astronomically, on this day, the sun moves to the northernmost point in the sky. As it moves through the subject, the sun will cancer on this day as seen from the earth. Mars and V-Hive cluster will make a close approach passing within 0.5 arc minutes. So it in Cancer, the V-Hive cluster is one of the near star cluster. Both of the celestial objects will be visible with naked eyes shortly after sunset. Use the space apps given in the description to find the planets according to your location. June 24 will mark the last of the four supermoons in a row this year. The June 24 supermoon is also known as the Fall Strawberry Moon. Neptune will halt the usual eastward movement through the constellation and turn west. June but both tides is only meteor shower this month that will peak in June 27. The best display might be seen after dusk of June 27. Mercury Mercury will soon pass in front of the sun and hits in won't be readily visible. Venus Venus is visible as an early evening object look for it west the dusk sky fades to darkness. Mars Mars will pass behind the sun later this year and is currently visible as an evening object. Look for it west as the evening sky fades and sits a couple of hours after the sun. Jupiter Jupiter is currently emerging from behind the sun and it rises in the east around midnight. Look for the high above the southern horizon before it lost to the morning twilight. Saturn 
just like Jupiter and Saturn, also rises around midnight and can be seen before dawn. Uranus Uranus recently passed behind the sun and it is hiding in its glare. Neptune Neptune rises around midnight and can be seen in the dawn sky using a telescope. 